Hey everyone, and welcome back to part two of a very special series featuring Fallout New Vegas. I'm just doing selected missions for this, and we're doing Come Fly With Me, one of my favorite missions in the game. And this is a combination of a, a voiced character and some traditional narration like we're doing right now. Oh, well, last episode we just jumped right into the character, but uh, for right now we'll uh, sit back and just let you know what's going on here. Uh, we're creeping around and we're about to get to the top of the stairs here and meet the voice of the person who uh, has taken over this place or something. So, there's a lot of these dead ghouls wearing clothes here. It looks like some type of ghoul cult or something is going on here. Alright, so let's go and talk to this guy uh, right now. Alright, we can't get in the door. Alright, All right, skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Alright, well, how you doing, guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this guy. Sounds like a ghoulie. But, uh... Seems pretty friendly, God, I guess. are you ugly? I can't even see him here. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hmm, it's pitch dark here. I can't even see this guy. Hmm, hmm. Where the heck's Jason? The Great One can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very Great important. One. Oh, yeah, this is definitely feel cold. lucky to be granted some of his time. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully they don't uh, get us in the ghoul cold here. <laughs> they trying to convert us, maybe. Cassidy, don't be joining a cult <laughs> behind my back now. <laughs> I know how these cults work. All right, I don't know where the heck we're supposed to be going here, but let's uh, take a little peek around before we go upstairs there, right? Might find some goodies or whatever, right? <laughs> All right, well... Don't want to go out there. Look at this. They're just walking around. They got a little hey them here. Party hats. What are you guys doing here? Oh, man. These guys are weird. Oh, they seem pretty nice, though, I guess. They ain't bothering me none, so uh, good enough for me for right now. Because some of them ghouls out there, man, they come swatting at you. And you got to swat back hard. You know what I mean? Look at this. What are they doing? Some chem. Making chems up here. Hmm. Now we're talking here, guys. Hmm. All right. What do we got down here? This is like a maze here. Got up, down, all around here. All right. How you doing? Hello. Pretty friendly bunch. I think we was just right back here two seconds ago. All right. I guess we got to go back up. Well, let's see what's behind this door here. Well, not too much good stuff here. Let's go back up. Find a big boss man and I'll see, what, see what's going on here. We've we been sent here help. by the uh, yes guys over in Novak. The guard there told us to uh, stop the ghouls from coming over. Who the heck's this? Go bother Jason. Oh, this was the guy. I couldn't see him in the I dark. I don't like having you around. Oh, well, you don't look too much like a ghoul either. Stay away but, from uh, me. What are you going to do, right? <laughs> All right. Well... I mean, he seems. I guess he got recorded. Hello, Wanderer. Oh, here we go. Please, Please forgive us our humble this surroundings. Shiny guy. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Oh man, what the hell? You Have you come voice? to help us complete the great journey? Man, this guy's got a better voice than all the rest of them ghouls. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. A great journey. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Escape. What are you? Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. Okay. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Beyond? Beyond what? Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Ah, oh, the demon. Mm -hmm. What about the demons? Demons. Demons and beyond. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> the demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. I know what's going on here. It's called stealth boy. We just entered the basement. 
I, I've been using it. My flock long. fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died half. You got or went missing. 20, 30 the rest of people us here. retreated up here. House, half. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Oh, man. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the creator uh, yeah. has sent a human to help the us across oh, the sea. You mean the guy over at the big dinosaur? Obstacle. That's your creator? He's the one that sent me here. <laughs> Were they raving at you? What do you mean? You had a rave? That's what the party had to for down there? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked uh, away? Well. They, they, they just don't want the wild ones. You guys and okay. did not always make sense. They got a lot of wild ones that downstairs. That was the first day only. Since then, uh, silence. Yeah. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yeah, dr drive away the demons. Yeah, you got me. I'll take care of them. Praise the Creator. Oh, Bless right. you, Wanderer. Bless us all. I know what it is. We as saw, as we saw one of these demons on the floor. Demons. Preparations for the great journey can resume. This guy, I can see why they following him around. His voice is kind of hypnotizing there, you know what I mean? I'm in a trance just from hearing that. He don't sound like them typical ghouls, that's for one thing for sure. So, uh, yeah, uh, I can see why they following him around. And uh, probably these chems, uh, maybe keep him a little uh, dazed too, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, Cassidy, you know what I'm talking about here. Remember that blue, big, blue super mutant we seen on the floor? I think they've been using the stealth boys or something. That's what he's fighting, and, uh, well, I can see why that's pretty scary, because, uh, regular super mutants are pretty bad. Pretty tough cookies out there, and, uh, you get a big blue one with a, can't even see on Stealth Boy, hmm, <laughs> you ain't gonna be surviving too long now, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I don't even know where we gotta go. Well, I guess we're going this way. Well, there ain't no other way to go. Back through where we came. All right. Well. Back down the shaft here. So I don't know. They're here. And this place is like some type of a rocket ship factory or something. So I don't know. Great beyond. I think they're going up to the Mars or something. I don't even know. But uh, that guy seems like he came from out of space the way he's been talking. All right, we got to go down here. Oh, my God. Look at all that blood. This ain't going to be good. That's for sure. I can see why they're scared of this place. All right, well, get out the... We'll get out the grenade rifle here. <laughs> These guys are big boys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hit them with the... We don't want to use the regular grenades. We'll just use the rifle. You just stay out of the way there, Cassidy. <laughs> You're going to get exploded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You stay behind me. Man, some... A lot of machinery down here building rocket ships and stuff. I can hear that humming. Look at all these wires and cables, conduits. This is a big place. Look at that. All right, we got to be super cautious here. They've been using self boys. They could be right in front of us. We won't, we won't even know but I can smell them. You smell them? I smell one. I can smell it. There we go. Oh, we got the... Use the old uh, pimp boy there. Focus on them. All right, here you go. Boom. Oh, man, we didn't even get to him. All right, let's throw another one of these in there. All right, bada boom. Oh, here he comes fast, man. All right, we got to switch guns. All right, we got out the shoddy. Let's get this guy in the brain. Looks like we got damaged his self boy there with explodey. Look at this, see what I mean? Big blue super mutant thingy. I know what happened. Alright, we got this. It ain't that easy, but it ain't that hard neither, so we'll get it. Alright. You okay, Cassidy? Alright, let's get together here. Alright, there could be another one in here. I still smell it, but it might be this guy. Yeah, these super mutants, <laughs> you know, they don't smell too good. And you can smell pretty far away. Because they're so freaking big, you know what I mean? Alright, let's just uh, be a little extra careful here. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Got 
super cautious. All right, well, uh, Pimp Boy ain't picking nothing up. That does a pretty good job here. I don't think it always picked up the Stealth Boy, but uh, I don't know. It can sense, uh, you know, the presence. All right, let's pop one of them. Oh, we got him from both sides. Here. All right, there we go. Oh, we got Cass. Uh oh, oh, oh. That guy's got a flame on him. Cass on fire. You okay? I mean, I know she's pretty hot, but uh, that's a little ridiculous, you know what I mean? She seems okay, though. She can handle that stuff. One tough cookie there. <laughs> it's gonna be a burnt cookie soon. But... All right, here we go. All right, you're gone. Damn, that's on big ass uh, flamer there. Incinerator. That's like double sized. Well, he's double sized too, so that uh, makes sense, right? Like that. All right, they got a jail key in here. What do they got a jail for in the space center? <laughs> I don't know. Locking up aliens and stuff, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Just in time. Uh, these guys ain't in trouble. You just gotta get. Him. We get behind him. He ain't no problem. But uh, he sneak up on us with that rebar. It ain't gonna be no good. All right, you okay? All right. A little bit singed. His hair got a little singed there, but uh, I think she's doing fine. All right, let's drink some of that whiskey there. For some reason, whenever we got Cass around, I don't even notice being hungover or nothing, so... Uh, Alright, what else we got? We need to we heal a little bit up here. Alright, we might as well just take a stem. Alright, eat some squirrel meat. Brother Maurice coming around with squirrel meat, right? You know what I'm saying there? Alright, well, double careful. All right, I just want to explain that last little joke there. There's the uh, Prince song on the, uh, it's called the Black Album. This is probably the best Prince album. Uh, it was really funny back in the day in the 80s. He put this album out, he printed them all, and then he saw God or something and uh, felt guilty because it was super raunchy, like even raunchier than his usual stuff. And he pulled the album, but it had like already been printed. So uh, my friends, uh, brother or something worked at the radio station and had a promo copy of it so we had a copy of it early it since came out like years later and uh it's super funky right so the there's a song on it it's called super funky califragis sexy right and the 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 first verse goes if your body needs water keep dancing because you ought to keep the blood flowing down to your feet brother maurice will be round in a minute with the bucket filled in it squirrel meat so that's why i said that when i saw the uh, squirrel on a stick and then it's like uh it's like get real good with drink it real fast but the aftertaste just lasts lasts and lasts if you kiss somebody you want to party all night all right so that's the song basically uh it's pretty gets a little raunchier after that uh so look that up uh if you want to know why i said that brother maurice with the uh, squirrel meat there oh so, yeah anyway so yeah i'm kind of really enjoying this character it's definitely a little bit over the top uh so hopefully uh it's not too ridiculous <laughs> but uh anyway yeah so we're just grabbing some scrap metal there because the guy over at the gun runners uh sitting outside there is always asking us for scrap metal and there is some reward but i think you have to give him like a, over 100 scrap metals or something because i've been doing it all game i'm a, been playing 75 hours and uh he still hasn't given me that reward yet so uh and there's, I don't think there's a way to track how many you've given them. So you just basically have to keep them all and then give them to them all at once, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I don't know. We're looking around here at these cells. It looks like they had these prisoners down here. So there's been a big battle here between these nightkin, which is what those super mutant things are called, and uh, these ghouls. And there were regular ghouls uh, on the outside, but I guess they, have, they are sealed off from this area. So... And like I've said in this episode, we uh, did this mission because the people at Novak asked us to help out because ghouls were invading over there. And uh, this is, you know, one of the first missions actually you get in the game, but I skipped it just because I'm pretty familiar with it, done it a few times. And then, uh, you know, as I played the game and started to really love this character, I'm like, you know, I should make like a few videos just featuring this guy's personality and stuff because basically he's like a wannabe gangster pimp type of guy you know he, he wants to be a high roller in vegas so he's acting all tough you know in in the way that he thinks like tough guys act so putting on kind of that voice and um 
He's basically Mr. House's errand boy. You know, the big, uh, I'm not going to spoil all the plot for you right now, but hey, he's like uh, the the guy running Vegas basically before all this stuff happened. And uh, he's coming back and we're doing the work for him to like have him take over from all these other factions that are in the game, which you could also choose to work for. And uh, I've done those before. Never did a Mr. House playthrough. So I like the idea of having this character who's like just kind of like a, you know, uh, sucking up to him a little bit and then you know he thinks he's like the big man in town really it's mr house and we're just like uh you know like i said we're like kind of his errand boy and so we act like we're super tough and you know we are tough we are pretty cool and uh we are pretty badass but you know we're not um you know we're not running anything at all in vegas we're just kind of like doing whatever he tells us to do so uh not that this mission is part of that but that's just how this character developed all right we're back and, uh, well, I got a few, uh, a few more of these, uh, Nightkin here, Cassidy. Oh, there we go. Uh, we zapped him good. He's visible now. And, uh, he ain't doing no more smashing. All right, let's reload it, brother. We got this dinner bell. This shot is pretty powerful, so. All right, whoa, did you see that guy? He can zoom, too. He was visible. He zoomed pretty fast uh, for a big guy. That's for sure. You gotta watch out. That's how they sneak up on you. They turn invisible. They zoom right up on you, on you so you don't even smell them right. And then they're right there next to you. Oh, this guy's having dinner in here. Alright. Anything left over? Oh, what the heck? Look, see that? Picking the bones clean in here. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> what the heck is this guy eating? Jeez. Is that enough for just him or is that for everyone? Got supplies. Uh, some more scrap metal for that guy. All right. Uh, pilot. All right, Cass. You need any of this stuff? Chill here. All right. Uh, I think we're going into the lion's den now. Trip wire or something. Like that. Laser wire. Alright, any invisible uh, mutants in there? Just keep clicking that pimp boy here. Scans the whole area for me. Give me targeting information, all sorts of good stuff. I think we cleared all this whole area out then. Cass, you hear anything? You smell anything? It still smells pretty bad, but uh, I don't smell uh, too bad. Alright, we got anything good in here? Any video games in there? I'm trying to hit the computer, not that book. Alright. Oh, here we go. Got a door here. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. We went up, down. All right, we've been here. We've been everywhere. Where are we supposed to go now? We gotta take care of the guy. All right, maybe up here. This is where we came from, right? I don't think this is the way. All right, uh, all right, we'll figure it out. All right, we'll be right. All right, here we go. We found it. All right. All right, let's see who's in here. Oh, there we go, big guy. All right, hey, how you doing there, guy? Oh, it looks like I hurt my own arm though. That one, a little too close there. Bounce off the guy. All right, well, I got time to do a little stem here, running my arm, heal that thing right up good, and uh, we can better take out the uh, dinner bell or something. All right, all right, we good. We got the smile now. All right. I think I hurt myself more than this guy hurt me, but uh, here we go. Got dinner bell. Look at that big ass sword that guy's got. He wasn't even invisible there. We snuck up on him good. He didn't even have time to hit that stealth boy too much. All right, well, there you go. Easy come, easy go, right? All right, well, uh, yeah, if you've ever played this game, you know that uh, 
Well, we probably could have talked to that guy and worked out a deal with him or done a little, gone a little bit deeper into this quest and just killing the guy. But yeah, we're role playing here and uh, there is no way our character is going to sit there waiting to see if that guy starts talking to him. I mean, you open the door, you see one of these blue things and you start firing. And uh, so that's what we did. All right. So we're now we're in here. And oh, look at this. Harlan. All right. Let's go back into uh, character now. Oh, look at that. We got another ghoulie up there. Come and get it, you big dumb. Mm. Hey. I'm not big. You're not one of those Man, things I ain't out that there. dumb, neither. Who the hell are you? Nope. I'm me. Who the hell are you? Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, they all dead now. I've been invisible. in here. Trying not to get dead. All right, well. Try harder. <laughs> all right. I killed Who the heck are they? What the heck is going on So we haven't anymore? had much time to get acquainted. All right, well. I figured They're hard to see, out. obviously. But they aren't too smart when it comes to tactics. No, they're pretty dumb. We're not stepping in traps. They weren't that e they weren't that hard First once you off, knew where they were. I'm not trapped. This was a tactical oh, choice, yeah, yeah. alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive all position. Right. Alright. And I've been defending all it. Alright, I don't right. care. I'm told to clear it oh, out. Oh, I save you too. Are you... I'm trapped. You know what? Name's Harlan. Hey Harlan. Pleased to meet you. Alright, I'm Murdoch. What was, I was escorting folks down to work. When those things attacked us. All right. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. All right. And I went after them. Okay. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Yeah, that's true. And things went to shit fast. I yeah. couldn't find the others. If you don't so have I a pinpoint to scan, I can see how it's tough. Set up a nice little kill zone. And a story. All right. Well, you know what? Mr. Bright up there, he didn't even mention you Guess no more, so he, he ain't too away, worried huh? about that, right? <laughs> I never you did off a long time ago. Religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. Yeah, see, it gets he don't care about you neither. Wastes, okay? All right. And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. All right, well, I know anyway, what you're saying, at least. Hey, I helped them hey, out. I hooked one of them up with an uh, atomic wrangler, actually. Company. She was pretty hot. So, yeah, you can see the... That was one of them, uh... S and M type of girls, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, huh. Go up there. Well, anyway. you're polite. All right, well. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mm. mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into mm. the basement. Uh, yeah, She's well, probably uh, dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. Well. I'd have gone looking myself. Except that wouldn't last a minute there, out there. There ain't no one you alive the out there. Seem pretty resourceful. Yeah. Find my friend. Well, guess what? And guy? I'll get out of your way. Uh, I've been every nook and cranny. Uh, this basement, I've seen a few dead ones, and uh, I, see. I think one of them was her. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. Oh, yeah, that was the one you with the yellow you smile. Part. Yeah, I noticed Swallowed that. Mine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. All right. I'm going to make a break for topside. All right, well. All right, well, he's all right. He makes more sense than them weirdos, man. He ain't buying into that mumbo jumbo. But like I said, that guy put me in the trance anyway. I almost fell for that stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's check out upstairs here. See what's up there. And, uh, oh, he's coming down. All right, well, let's poke around down here first. Uh, some supplies down here. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Stepped on a little trap there. Oh, man, broke both my legs. Uh, hey, uh, Cass, uh... Why don't you warn me about that thing? Look at that. They got a shoddy hooked up. Uh, tripwire. That's what I'm saying. Tripwires. I was looking for that upstairs, man. I was not looking down here, though. I think that guy's the one that set this up. I think he's playing a trick on me. Although he did say to go around upstairs. He didn't say nothing about the room, around downstairs. So uh, maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> he meant go straight the heck upstairs because uh, he put all these traps here to get these guys, I guess. Look at this. He got one of them right there. Did them good. All right, well, we got two broken legs now. Better use the doctor's bag for that. And don't want to waste no more stems. And, uh, fill that up real good. All right, well, we just got to go tell that bright guy up there what's going on. But, uh, let's see what's going on down here first. Mm-hmm. All right, cat. You better, uh... Warn me if I'm about to step on one of them. Look at we got these bear traps down here too. We got explodes bear traps. Well, we're gonna end up with no legs walking out of here. All right, here's 
another one. Uh, three bear traps. Ain't no one getting up there to him. All right, this guy's pretty smart. All right, I can't. I can't see that. I got the glare off this thing a little bit too much, but you know, all right. All right, what's up here? Got anything good up here, guy? I don't know if he left there. Don't seem like there are too many supplies up here. Oh, that's where he's been talking to us. Oh no, he wasn't the one talking to us. The other guy. All right. Why didn't you just call in the intercom to the other guy? The other guy had the intercom. I don't know. All right. What do we got here? Information. All right. Stealth boy. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Now we figured it out. Look at this. They got the stealth boy here. So these Night King guys, they came and found some of these stealth boys, and then they all invisible and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like, uh... Alright, what the heck? Something bad happened, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, it looks like they were playing around with them. Alright, so they sent them back, but there was still a few more here. So, uh, that's all what happened. They're missing five of them, so... I think they're missing a few more than that, but... I don't know. Well, mystery solved, I guess. We might have to go ahead to that site and find the rest of them stealth boys, though. That's what I'm saying. All right, Cassidy. Let's take off, then uh, head back, talk to the guy, tell him we cleared it out, and then we can tell the guys no back we cleared it out, and we all cleared everything out. All right, oh, there we go. Did it again. I didn't see that one. All right, well, uh, that don't feel good. All right. I'm just gonna go up there and sleep this off, man. I don't feel like wasting no more stim packs on that. I'm just gonna limp it out. All right, Cassidy, you get me if I fall down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna limp this one out. It don't feel that bad, but uh, can't use it too good. All right, we got me. I don't even know. We gotta climb through a lot of maze here. Which way do we gotta go? I think over through here, maybe up this way oh man what a mess ugly motherfucker right <laughs> all right well that's about it for part two of come fly with me we got the grand finale of this and of course if you've played this game you know exactly what's gonna happen and I did kind of want to put all of this out for Memorial Day and actually wow pretty appropriate that uh Literally as I I don't want to spoil the next episode, but uh Something very similar was actually about to happen in real life, and it just got canceled or postponed I think for Saturday and the next step will come out on Friday So that's good enough and you'll see what I mean there. That is actually Insanely fortuitous because I didn't even really realize all that when I started this playthrough uh you, you, you'll know what I'm talking about if you play this. I mean, you can figure it out. We're at the freaking rocket ship factory here. You know what I mean? And uh, we were about to send something into space. Uh, so that's pretty cool coincidence there. So, yeah, we're just rooting around here. I don't even know where we're going. I get so lost in every one of these buildings in New Vegas and Fallout 4. And I'll look at the map, and it doesn't even help. Uh, I'm not Fallout 4, Fallout 3. In Fallout 4, it would tell you if you had to go up or down a level on the map, so it was a little easier. But anyway, we're going to limp our way back, and we will see you on Friday for Part 3, and tomorrow for more Wolf the Worm in Skyrim. we got videos coming out every single day in 2020 on this channel. So, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for listening. And, uh, yeah, we'll check the map one last time and try to figure out which way we're supposed to go. Oh, we're here. All right. Well, we'll finish it next time. Thanks for joining.